Dan, Moran, and I were going to do a demo just like that. <laughs> but we decided that we it would save be, them. It wouldn't be a good idea, no. No, it wouldn't be a good We'd idea. We'd save them. <laughs> yeah, save them some other time. So, no, another year. Another, another year. year. Great. Mm -hmm. Dan Moran is with Baptist Health, but uh, more importantly, he's with a, an organization that's doing some really, it's called Home Connection Companions. Mm -hmm and also uh, calling to check. Mm -hmm. And I thought, what's calling to check? So he's gonna tell us what calling sure. to check is. Sure, well, let me tell you a bit of Home Connection Companions, Ann. Mm -hmm. uh, Home Connection Companions was, uh, has been as part of another business that we have, uh, which is part of Baptist Health. And what we do is we provide people to go into someone's home to help. And usually it's a... Uh, non-medical, uh, right? Non-medical, or non-medical, right. You know, it might be a, a mom, a dad, a brother, a sister. And they need some help because they want to stay independent. They want to stay in the home. And I mean, what's what's more comfortable exactly. than to be in your own surroundings? Right. And it's proven that people who stay in their, house, in their own homes longer, live longer, and they have a better quality of life. So we go in, and we may go in for three hours, may go in for a day, may go in for overnight um, to help them. And it could be white housekeeping, helping prepare a meal, organization, just sitting and talking. Uh, taking uh, them sometimes out to a they movie. Just need companionship. Yeah. Take them out to a movie. Oh, so you some... can take them oh, yeah. like to mm -hmm. the grocery store? Sure, or to... Or to, to the doctor's appointments, whatever they need. And we, we, we have a schedule, but we don't uh, adhere, have to adhere to it all the time, and the schedules do change. And it, it's remarkable how people respond to it. And they get to know the companion, they become part of the family. I was going to say, it would seem to me you get, would form a deep connection mm -hmm. with the person, especially when you start to hear their stories. Yes, yes. And hear about their families mm -hmm. and maybe some unfortunate relationships that they have mm -hmm. that they, they need to talk about. Mm -hmm. How does someone um, decide to be part of your team? To be a companion? Well, you yeah. know, they it, it takes a special person. Uh, it takes a person who's very, very caring, very compassionate. Who you know, likes who's fun? They like to communicate. Um, you know, they 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 have a keen sense of people's needs, and because sometimes you'll you know we'll go into a situation and the person may not tell you that something's going on, but you have, you have to kind of sense it. So it's kind of a very unique person. We're blessed. We have a very good team of companions who are uh, you know well trained, very qualified, and they know how to spot situations and how to handle that. So they can kind of even alert family members oh, yeah, or if definitely. there's a, a problem right. going on. Right, but they may, the family member may not know because sometimes... Well, they, they might be living in another area, it could be, Oh, yeah, it could be living in another area. Or that's, you know, maybe mom and dad doesn't want to tell them about it. And they see it. Well, that's true. That's and they true. kind of become the conduit, and that kind of helps. Or as you mentioned, the people who are not in the area, who they just want to know that somebody's in seeing mom or dad, you know, two, three, one time a week, whatever it may be. So that's a, uh, it's a special person that, that does this type of work. Now, we do know that people that are living alone could have a physical problem and mm -hmm. be injured or something. And, but maybe they don't need the, the help every day because no. they're, they're pretty good. They mm -hmm. can do everything, but they could fall down a flight of stairs. They could do something like that. Uh, you have another, the calling to check. Yes. What is that? Calling to check is something that's brand new. And, you know, somebody said to me, Dan, where'd you come up with that idea? Well, I can't say that it came out of my brain. I was walking through the Daytona Beach Airport, and I looked in the a billboard on the wall, and I said, wow. That's interesting. It was a concept of a company doing that in the Daytona area, where essentially what it is, it, you know, everybody's busy today, and they, they may not have time to have a structured, I'm going to call my mom at 10 o'clock every morning and see how she's doing. That's what we do. So we jump in, and it may be one time, two times, but we recommend five times a week, Monday through Friday. At least. Yes, we'll call. At, you know, if it's 10 o'clock in the morning, we'll call and say, Ann, just check it in. How's everything going? And it's usually a five to eight minute conversation. It's just kind of, they get to know each other. We, we, we call our callers comfort callers. Comfort. Um, I love the name. Yes. Yeah. And they're, uh, they're trained and again, the same thing, how to pick up little signs of there may be something wrong. And it's, it's that peace of mind. You know, if you're living in California and your mom's living in Schenectady and you want to know that somebody's checking every day to be sure that they're okay. Mm -hmm. um, and if they're not, we have a protocol that we now, follow. Now, can you call Kokomo, Indiana, if you had to? Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Anywhere. anywhere. Um, to do, do a check. Now, this does not replace having uh, uh, one of those. Oh, no, 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 not at all. Yeah, no, not well, I highly, uh, highly recommend um, that, you know. I don't want to mention names, but there's, there's a lot of them. The, yeah, there's yes. a lot of them. And, um, 
and that whoever has one wears it <laughs> because that's one well, of the you big know, issues. It's interesting. I talked to a woman. She's in her her family got her one, mm -hmm. and I said, "Oh, I, do you wear it?" And she said, "Oh, no, no, I never wear it." And I go, "Well, why not?" She says, "Well, I keep it hanging in the bathroom because if I get sick, I'll be in the bathroom." I go, "I don't think work. that's going to work that way. I think that if you fall out down your stairs going out to your garden, right." That's not going to help, help you at in the all. bathroom. We know it's funny. It's not funny, but you know my my mother-in-law. Peculiar. Yeah, it's peculiar. Thank you. <laughs> mother-in-law was 84 years old. Two weeks ago, um, fell in the shower, shattered her hip, oh, and gosh. Um, so she luckily she's in an apartment that has a uh, emergency oh, cord, but it doesn't work the same as like the uh, instant response. Yeah. So did you have anything? Okay, I said, Joan, were you wearing your thing? No, I keep it because on the bedstand. Because you can wear stand. it in the shower, though. Yeah, could... anywhere. I, I just, no, she said, no, I kept it in the bedstand, so I know where it is. Nah, that's not the idea. <laughs> no, I, I, don't, I don't know what it takes to, and, and I'm talking to you if you have one mm -hmm. of those. Go get it right Go now it. and put it on. Put it on your neck. Put it on your bracelet. <laughs> it's not that... It's not that heavy. No, it's, it's not. not no. that. No. Do they? Do you think that perhaps people who don't wear it think that it labels them? Yes. Absolutely, and I did some research just but reading so about that. I put a star on it. Make, yeah, make, it, make it look pretty. Fancy. Right, make it look pretty. Put some beads around it. <laughs> well, the new ones that are coming out. Has you have they look like they look like a watch, and okay. they're very very nice. You can't even tell. Yeah. Uh, but you know, again, if you have one, please put it on. Yeah, and you um, can wear it underneath your your sure. top and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If that really, if, <laughs> why I don't know why, well, but anyway. So, coin the idea of coin to check is that we you know we want to provide peace of mind to the family. And and to these are the to the mom, dad, sister, brothers at home as well. And they can they look. Some people I talked to in the business who were very helpful uh, told me that the people look forward to these calls because mm -hmm. they just want to talk to somebody. Yep. Yeah, they want to tell you about the weather then in Michigan. That's fine. Mm -hmm. and, or they want to talk about their dog or their kids or the grandkids. That's great. Now, someone that you hire to do this mm -hmm. to make the calls, a comfort caller, right. can they do that from their home, or do they have to go to a center? Right now, they come to our office. Okay. Um, and not saying that they couldn't do it from home, and we may want to look at doing that. But right now, we're, we're having to come to you the office. You want to monitor it. Monitor it, because we, we are, you know, again, it's a new venture. We're learning more. Uh, so it's best that they come to our office now. But at some point in time, no, they don't have to be there. They could, it's a great job for somebody who's home, wants to pick up a couple hours a day, making some phone calls and talking to great people. Yeah. And it's very really inexpensive. It's not a, it's but it, not an but expensive proposition. But it's a peace of mind. It's mm. a peace of knowing that your mm -hmm. loved one, and you can still make your own calls. Sure. Not, oh, yeah, I'm telling we, you not to make your that. calls. Yeah, we encourage that. This is not a substitute for no, that. But, no. but at least you have a, a third party mm -hmm. looking into this and kind of monitoring right. it. Where, like you said, sometimes mom might not want to tell you something. No. No, that's true. Yeah. And the other thing we do too is that at the end of at the end of every call, we either text or email the the responsible the family. party, the family, and say, "Hey, I just talked to mom. And she's doing she's great. She's doing great." Or, "Hey, you know, maybe you better talk to mom. Something's yeah. bothering her about so and so." Yeah. And we follow through with them, so they they know that we're we're on top. They know every day we're, we're, that we're doing this, and uh, it's really great, interesting. What a great idea! Yeah. I love it, and I, I think that it's great. And you're part of Baptist Health. We are part of Baptist what, Health, right? Yeah. And um, you know the the Baptist. Uh, Team has been very helpful to us in, in launching this and um, helping us, you know, figure out the marketing for it. So it's, it's an exciting venture, and I'm looking forward well, to now, helping a lot of people. If uh, someone wanted to be a calling uh, comfort caller, would they come where? I mean, where where is your place of? Oh, we're in a, we're on 11 Computer Drive West in Colony, just off of Wolfville. <clears throat> Very, okay. very convenient location. So you're in Colony, we're in so Colony, that's yes. where they would go. Yeah. I just was mm -hmm. trying to give people if they were thinking that they might like to try sure. this. Mm -hmm. And would they call you? Yes. Or, okay. or if somebody has, you can, or would they just go to your website? Call me. Go to my website. Either or uh, we have www.callingtocheck.com, or you can give our office a call and talk as well. And we do an assessment to determine what their needs are, um, and then we'll structure something that will work for them. Um, and then we ask. We ask the, you know, the, if it's a, a son or a daughter to co connect us with their parent, and we have a kind of three-way conference call so they know what's going on, um, and then we we take over from there. Good, good idea. I, th I there's, this is a win-win situation. I hope so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and remember to still wear your thingy here. Yes, wear your thingy. <laughs> yes, because you never know when you're going to fall or you need something else. No predicting. No predicting. It's called an accident. Yes. You're not yep. going to be in a specific place. Yep. Right? Did my mother-in-law Joan is watching this? Joan, I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> but she's doing great, so we're okay, thrilled. Great. Get it off the bed stand and put it on. Uh, yep.
get it out of the bathroom, put it on. Mm -hmm. Right, good. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, maybe you want somebody to give you a call. So yes. you're the guy to call, right? Yes, we are. Good. Dan Moran with uh, Calling to Check and uh, Home Com uh, Connection Companions. And uh, we've got both of their websites up there. So, And you can always go to my Facebook page to find out more about these guests that I have on the show. You're going to see photos. You're going to see extra material that they uh, have sent us and uh, you'll be able to contact them. So check out my Facebook page. And uh, thanks so much, Dave. Thank you. Nice to Thank meet you. you. Thank yes, you for coming. Say hi to Ruth in. for me. I will. Good. They have a better quality of life. So we go in, and we may go in for three hours, may go in for a day, may go in for overnight um, to help them. And it could be white housekeeping, helping prepare a meal, organization, just sitting and talking. Uh, taking uh, them out to a movie. Just need companionship. Yeah. Take them out to a movie. Oh, so you some... can take them oh, yeah. like to mm -hmm. the grocery store? Sure. Or to... And usually it's a... Uh, non-medical, uh, right? Non-medical, or oh, non-medical, right. You know, it might be a, a mom, a dad, a brother, a sister, and they need some help because they want to stay independent. They want to stay in the home. And I mean, what's what's more comfortable exactly. than to be in your own surroundings? Right, and it's proven that people who stay in their, house, in their own homes longer, live longer, and... and I were going to do a demo just like that mm -hmm. yes. and also uh, calling to check mm -hmm. and I thought what's calling to check so he's going to tell us what calling sure. to check is sure well, let me tell you a bit of home Com connection companions in mm -hmm. uh, home connection companions was uh, has been as part of another business that we have uh, which is part of Baptist Health and what we do is we provide people to go into someone's home to help <laughs> but we decided that we it would wouldn't save be, them. it wouldn't be a good idea no. <laughs> No, it wouldn't be a good We'd idea. We'd save them. <laughs> yeah, save them some other time. <laughs> another, another year. Another year. <laughs> Great. Mm -hmm. Dan Moran is with Baptist Health, but uh, more importantly, he's with a, an organization that's doing some really, it's called Home Connection Companion.